Uh, yep, yeah, it's working. Hi guys, I'm Sydney Wong from Venture X, and we're going to do um, market research with Patrick. Patrick, and we're going to basically use these four questions to kind of understand the needs of the market. So, Patrick, can you tell me about your experiences with your current um, ways of doing accounting and bookkeeping and things like that? Uh, experiences as far as it goes with the business or yeah. my own personal accounts? No, as uh, far as it goes with the business. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, experiences as far as, uh, I guess, just kind of being tight with it, always having it in the back of your mind and not letting it stress you out. What it's is it that you're doing with your record keeping, for example? Like uh, the record keeping mean? here, we log everything um, into spreadsheets that we have, okay. and then we're comparing monthly, uh, I guess, daily sales, weekly sales, and monthly sales over the, over the years. So you can kind of, it, it gives you, I guess, a good idea of uh, some of the busier periods, some of the quieter periods, what to expect in the future, and it tells you if you're doing better or worse in the long run. Okay. Um, do you currently have an accounting firm that you've been working with for the past two years? I understand you've been open for three years. Uh, yeah, we've been open for three years. I can't speak about what the accounting practices have been for two years as far as having exterior companies okay. to the business, but um, I don't believe, I mean, as far as working with a bank, mm -hmm. that's obviously, it's, 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 it's a necessity for a business, yeah. but I don't think there's been a firm outside of the bank. Okay. Um, what is the worst part of, you know, keeping track of all of these things for you to it's get to boring. your bank? It's, it's boring. It's a boring job to do. Like, okay. you, no one really Why enjoys, so like, boring? punching, well, you're punching numbers into a computer, you know, like, I, I think if you're benefiting from those numbers, in the sense, well, you benefit from them just because it gives you knowledge, but I think if you're benefit, benefiting from them by directly having that income, then it's great. Okay. Like uh, for someone who actually owns business, un yeah. unlike myself, you're seeing those numbers go on the screen and you, you have a really good idea of how much money you're making in the sense of um, whether it's like you know profitable for you to stay open. But <laughs> for someone like me, uh, punching numbers in the computer, that's not the reason why I work here. If I wanted to do that, I would have uh, yeah. I would have studied accounting. You know? So generally, employees pay do I think so. Okay. Um, is Unless they're directly profiting from it. Okay, that's a good thing to say, excellent. Um, what are the pros and cons of the current situation? Uh, the current situation, like like me like, working here or like the economic situation? Mainly the, uh, the accounting practices and the bookkeeping that you're doing. So how does this affect your like current situation, your day-to-day, -day, you do it every week? Day-to-day, -day, it doesn't really affect that much. I okay. think it's, 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 it's one of those things that you just need to get into the habit of doing it. Okay. And then once you're into the habit, you know, even if it's a boring job to do, like it's, it's a dull, you know, but you can still do it. It's, it's okay. All right. Um, and does it a change pros. during around like a tax season or things like that? Do, you, yeah. do they give pros you extra for tax? Sure. Pros for sure. It's uh, in the end you, you know it all. Once once it's logged, like we're human beings, I'm not able to keep all this information in my head. And so you have to force yourself to do these little things. But the, but the pro is that in the end you're seeing the business in numbers. You're okay. seeing the business. You're seeing the architecture of the business that isn't just what the shop looks like. Or if it's clean, if the, if the floor's been washed, you're, you're seeing in numbers. Um, I guess the structure of whether or not you're making money. Maybe. Yeah, and um, the owner was the one who came up with this um, setup for you. I think that he, I mean, came up with it in the sense of having experiences from other businesses already and seeing, okay. I guess, so how it's they not were doing his first time. It's not his first time, no. And so I think he took a lot of, um, I think he took a lot of things from other businesses in the sense, like his own personal experiences, but. That's what everyone does, so it's, it's not that surprising. So we came up with it in that sense, but I think he came up with it through an economy. Okay. And are there any ways that you think of overall the accounting practices or bookkeeping can be improved? It's a good question. Besides, like, it's I don't a, know how to make it more. It's a, it's a good question. I'm not too sure. I don't. Okay. If there was some way to make it less boring, I'd love that. But okay. I don't think there is one. It is one of those things that just needs to be done. And a lot of the time, those jobs that need to be done are kind of hard to get to. But it's not to procrastinate. That's just to tackle them. But um, I can't really tell you if there's a better way to do it. I, I just wouldn't know. That's just not my. I don't have experience in that. I wish I knew. But, but if you had like infinite powers to change something, what would the change be? Infinite powers to change something. I would change the idea that the business is required to make money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you rather that to run a business good. that you just solely enjoy All right. is communicating with people. Okay. It would essentially eliminate your jobs. Okay, great. But this is, this is an infinite power situation. Yes, of course. <laughs> That's the point. If you can imagine anything. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Great. Have a good day. Thank you.